dear Aries, this is a love a love reading, a prediction for the month of January with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And as an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there is a reading up 2022 love prediction for the full members to this channel. And the gifts of 2022 is up for all the members to the channel. We will reveal what you have to look forward to in 2022. Extended and full members can also order readings from me with a 30% discount after the holidays. Subscribe and then check out the many perks of being a member through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for December to get a context and this is the prediction for January. And I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot by Roberto de Angelis. And when I open your deck here, um, it seems like you are going on some kind of adventure. Uh, it looks exciting. Um, something old might have... Um, you know, run its course, and uh, um, this is something uh, new and exciting coming in here. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light, and here we have the eight of swords in the reverse, together with the knight of wands in the reverse. So, with hard work from this knight of wands of yours, <laughs> you have been able to let yourself out of an old cycle, you have freed yourself. Uh, from a previous repetitive pattern and it has come uh, with um, a lot of sacrifice I'm sure uh, but it's going to lead to better things for you now okay so I called uh, for archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse together with the knight of wands uh, so it gives the hand that there might be some little thing left to handle, okay? Um, even if you have been able to close off a big, you know, wheel, something that has repeated over and over in your life, there might, might be small patterns uh, that are still left for you uh, to figure out. Things, it's, it's like when we start with the first apple in a basket. We take the first apple and then more apples underneath there and even more apples. So first you just saw the uh, above apples and you saw these certain patterns, like I have this pattern in relationships, I have this pattern when it comes to money, I have this pattern when it comes to success, I have this pattern when it comes to luck or un being unlucky. Uh, but then when you were dealing with these patterns and kind of uh, took away uh, the, it's, it's like you made a decision uh, somewhere in time that I'm unlovable or I always so very lucky or I'm uh, great with money um, and these um, the good uh, supportive affirmations that you have the good supportive blueprints the good things that's written in your Akashic records you want to keep them but there's patterns there that's uh, uh, less than good and when you have worked through them and changed them into better affirmations for example, I'm worthy of love and people love me. It's easy for them to love me. Uh, there might come other things uh, that you haven't recognized before. They weren't a big problem. But now when you have sweeped your street, uh, you will uh, start to notice other disharmonies. Okay, other things uh, that's, um, that you want to work on. Okay, so six elements. And here we have a four of wands uh, with the knight of wands in the reverse. Uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, four of wands here, it's some kind of self-love, stability. Uh, this is where you can uh, also gather around your friends or attract a lover. It's a very beautiful place to be. But with the knight of wands in the reverse, it might be that currently you don't want to be in that place or, or you're not receptive uh, to being in that place. We'll see what it means when we do the reading. Uh, maybe you need a vacation. Uh, maybe you can't stand people <laughs> right now. Uh, maybe uh, you are in a, in a mood of adventure and you freedom and you don't want to stick around. 
uh, with the old situation, even if they are valuable to you. So it might be, for example, that you have a good job, but maybe other things in your life haven't been too happy. But now you're giving up also on the job uh, because you want to change, like have a change of, of scenery. Uh, so it can be uh, like that or it can be in other areas as well. It doesn't have to be that you want to move, but I'm definitely seeing you hungry for seeing something else or doing something else. Uh, so of course there's a risk that you throw out the baby with the bathwater here um, and, and need to start on, on, you know, step one with recreating your life. But uh, uh, that can be a, a really good thing. So it doesn't have to be a, a, a bad thing um, just because uh, we might not put effort into the good situations in our life right now. Maybe you're tired of everything. So tune in for a few seconds here. To you and the person most on your mind and your relationship in January. So this is the new bottom of the deck and we see the Ten of Wands. Uh, Ten of Wands is connected to the Wheel of Fortune. It's um, like a cycle uh, that in this case might have come uh, to its end. And um, with the Ten of Wands, it's a little bit of a burden or it's putting too much, maybe it requires too much energy out of you. Maybe you started something fun. Let's say that you uh, started to make a garden for yourself, but then, you know, uh, cleaning all the weeds, uh, watering the plants, it's like it, it, it's not fun anymore. It's just become a, like a heavy work for you or you have a big group of friends but they are high maintenance or uh, you have a good job and you have really showed you know your uh, foots <laughs> um, for like you have showed that you are a good person a good worker so you have got more and more and more responsibility or your partner has been uh, you know, you have been helpful towards them and, and done a lot of things for them. And now um, they are also high maintenance. So it can be different things. So that might be why you are longing for freedom. Maybe you have taken yourself water over your head. And here we see the two of cups in the reverse. So it can show an unbalanced situation between give and take in a lover, a lover relationship, romantic or family, uh, friends. Um, it can also show that, that one person is more into the relationship than the other person. And this can happen, for example, if we do too much, uh, we help the other person too much, um, we do like this, then they think of us as a slave and they start to take us for granted and they don't think that they love us that much. It's just like that person that always, you know, do all this stuff for me. Uh, so if you want your partner to love you, you shouldn't uh, overdo it, you know, see too that there's fairness between you because that also keeps the edge of uh, uh, the other person still being in love with you. Because if you are, you know, uh, just fulfilling their needs, fulfilling their needs, they become a really fat and, um, you know, full cat uh, and um, um, very, very content, but, um, you know, uh, not over the moon interested in you okay so uh, this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind this is the situation with said person what's on their mind with you and this is uh, your feelings for them the bond between you two their feelings for you this is your behaviors and attitudes the outcome for January and their behaviors and attitudes so we start with the situation and we have a four of uh, coins here the four of coins um i'm feeling that this is you aries that um, you have given all this much uh, to a situation uh, but now you feel like you're living in this castle and you want to keep all this energy for yourself um it's um, you probably have good reasons for this even if it looks selfish i don't think it is i think it has to do with you putting new uh, boundaries and maybe not uh, doing too much uh, for everyone you want to be loved by them you might even want them to need you because that makes you being able to control them a little bit but maybe you have seen that the price is too high and it's not worth it uh, in the end because what's in there for you uh, just it's almost like you get the crumbs uh, from your own work uh, when you you know help uh, everyone else to this extent and maybe not get the 
the same help back. It's another thing if we, you know, we have super helpful friends, uh, we are super, super helpful towards them, then it's no problem. But we saw the two of cups in the reverse. So it might be that in some situation, this is a little bit of a problem. And it doesn't have to be in relationships, it can be in other situations as well. Uh, it indicates when it comes to money or work, for example. And this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And we have a nine of coins here in the reverse. So it seems like you feel a little bit lonely in your garden work. Like it's not, no one is coming to help you. They, they would love to eat, you know, the fruits of uh, your labor, but they don't want to, you know, water the plants or um, take away the weeds or um, like help you. So you feel uh, as if you are doing a lot of work alone. And this is the other person's point of view, a six of coins. Okay, so they feel that you are very capable, that the things that you are able to do, the uh, the shores that you are able to do and in the speed that you are doing it and how well organized you are, um, it, um, it's not something that they could do. So they feel like you are this little bit uh, Eber mentioned that's uh, able to do uh, a lot of different things for a lot of different people in a speedy time and doing it much better than everyone else. So this can be about cleaning, for example, inside a household or, you know, preparing for the holidays. Uh, maybe you are the one, only one decorating, fixing the food, um, doing the dishes, uh, vacuuming the floors. And the other person thinks, oh, this person is so capable. Uh, there's nothing they can't do. They are amazing. And you just feel like people aren't helping me. They are not doing their fair share. And... Um, uh, they are satisfied and you are dissatisfied with this situation here. Okay, so we see this is the bond between you two. And we see the queen of swords here together with this four of coins. It's starting to, to brew something here. A smoldering <laughs> irritation, almost like, in the, like under the ground in a geyser. And soon it will psh, uh, come up to the surface. Uh, so I'm thinking you are... Um, um covertly you're not telling this to anyone uh, you are judging people and uh, uh, you know you see them with this look in your face this wrinkled forehead uh, and um, also with this uh, judgmental attitude uh, but you haven't told them is what i'm feeling or maybe you told them but in this uh, nagging mother kind of way and not um, like eye to eye take like look at me this is the problem we need to solve this we need to discuss this um i think um you have just um, um it's 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 like a fire burning inside of you with anger but it hasn't come uh, to the surface and it's uh, threatening to explode a little bit here so we'll see where it goes and uh, this is your feelings and we have a page of wands uh, in the reverse, so it looks like you would want to escape the situation. Uh, this is why certain people doesn't appreciate the holidays. Like their family can say, "Oh, the holidays is the best time ever," and the person doing all the work is saying, "Where can I run to? Can I, you know, take in on a spa somewhere and forget about these holidays?" Um, so this is just a symptom of um, a situation that you haven't been dealing with and that you really should uh, be dealing with before you, you know, uh, throw everything away because you're, you're not happy. You know, wherever you go, there you are. So if you run away with this kind of attitude, um, you will find, you know, new people to help. At the spa facility, you will uh, put yourself in the kitchen and start doing the... Uh, you know, meals for, for the whole hotel, uh, because this is how restless you are. So um, it's, um, it's not other people that's the problem. It's you need to look inside uh, what's um, a, a little bit um, high strong inside of you. It's like a, a tension or a inability to relax or an inability to uh, let other people take over the control, even if they are not doing things properly. 
uh, or in the way that you would do it maybe they can do it anyway maybe it's not a big deal if it gets done so that everyone will you know oh this is a wonderful meal i have never <laughs> eaten something better if they are just oh i'm full it was good we were eating together it was fun uh, it doesn't have to be top notch okay and this is the other person's feelings and we have the emperor so it seems as if you have built the other person up to uh, become a little bit um, self-righteous it's almost like they are entitled to have this while, while you are feeling like uh, like this uh, they are feeling like this like they are entitled to have this this is what they should always have and uh, like this is why they love you because you're uh, cooking this good food or you are being so well organized being able to go run all these errands and fix all these things or clean all these things or uh, perform in this high level I don't know maybe in the bedroom uh, maybe at your workplace and and they feel entitled they think that you do this because they are worth it uh, because they are so, you know, they are such a gorgeous person with such a gorgeous quality that you can help yourself but becoming the slave to them. <laughs> so that's maybe I'm in um, like emphasizing it a little bit like through a magnifying glass. But uh, I think I'm onto something here that you have made, you have spoiled this person. They think that, oh, if this person does all these things for me, it must be because I'm so super valuable and they don't, they can't live without me. They would, you know, wither away without me. And the only thing you're thinking of is how can I get away? <laughs> how can I get away from this situation? But it's a, it's a prison that you have made for yourself. I think you have let yourself out of a lot of prisons lately, but you still have this prison left. Maybe because you like being needed. Maybe because you like other people being impressed by you. Maybe you feel like... Um, um, they couldn't make it without you. If you were gone, they would lie helpless on the floor, you know, crying. And that might make you, giving you a certain amount of satisfaction. So, but I want to look into this, um, uh, this little bit posh uh, behavior, which I'm feeling here, or what is it that they are trying to say? Yes, I used you as supply. Uh, I was never good enough for you. I think that has to do with this. Um, they know... Uh, they use you as supply. We can see they are self-righteous. They think that they are the king of kings or the queen of queens. And you have made them believe that this is what they are worthy of, like using other people as slaves. Uh, but in the same time, I was never good enough for you. This is when they are trying to help you. And they are not doing it uh, like in the way that you would want them to do it. You know, they are this beggar here and, and you are this person here. We can see like the roles are in the reverse here. You are self-righteous and thinking that you are the only one that can do it in a good way. And it might be true, but uh, if you don't let the other people practice, they will never get be good at it. Certain things we, we don't find pleasure in doing, uh, but um, and we might be able to do that for that person and they can do something else for us that we are not super interested in so that's still you know equalness um, but um, um, as time goes by we might learn to you know love uh, to cook or to um, to clean we, we can see this with many people that uh, over the years, uh, you know, your spouse was the person that you always had to nag about the socks being on the floor. But later in, in life, you realize that this person has become like a cleaning <laughs> fascist. <laughs> like they need to be like this. Uh, so people learn as they go, but they have felt like they are not good enough for you the way that they are doing things. So you're making them like a spoiled kid. And that's, um, no, you can't do this. It's too hard for you. I do everything for you. Uh, so they are both a golden child, like they are so precious, but in the same time useless. So see how you're playing with people. Like you need to, uh, you need to, um, you know, shape up. So, you know, this you have had great big cycles. That was a problem. Now we are into the small cycles. This is not a big problem. It's just you needing to see why you're doing certain things uh, that's not good for you and it's not good for uh, other people. Give them assignments. Don't be angry with them, but say this is your, we are going to have a, a Christmas right now. I'm not going to do everything for you. Uh, so can you choose what things you would want to do uh, 
uh, of the things that needs to be done. And they might choose some things that will be a relief for you. I want to marry you. So uh, it's nothing wrong with the relationship per se from their point of view. It's just that they, they have learned to work around your uh, behavior so they can use you as supply because you are supplying them with a great many things but they are also really scared of doing anything because they might do it the wrong way okay so um and we can see that maybe you don't want to be married anymore <laughs> or not wanting the future with this person but um uh, it's uh, it's a little bit your own fault is what i'm trying to say here I'm walking through the dark night of my soul. That was serious. I love you more than words can say. And I can't forgive. Ooh, this looks a little bit more serious than just, you know, um, arguing about uh, cleaning stuff. But I think it's like this, that you have worked through a lot of big cycles and you're still into working through all these cycles. It's heavy work. Just doing this, just uh, figuring out uh, what's your pattern and running face down in ooh, sorry into the wall and um, uh, again and again and then realizing okay I need to change because this isn't working anymore before the divine let you off the hook they kind of allowed you to have your pattern and let it work out for you but we have gone into a new paradigm of time uh, where you're not allowed to have your uh, different um projections patterns karmas left they are supposed to be cleaned out so certain things that worked for you before for example overworking doing everything for everyone else is not working anymore uh, when you try you run head first into the wall again and again until you do something about it and the time when you do something about it you might already have burned your candle in both ends and then you become really depressed and tired and that's when you can't do that stuff anymore you just can't uh, there's no energy left so uh, with this card it, said, it tells me that you have been too many cycles where you have run head first into the wall and kind of bleeded a lot of energy so now you don't have much energy left but you love this person or these people more than words can say so that's also a reason to why you have done this because maybe you felt that you love them more than what they loved you and you had to be uh, uh, there for them 100% or they wouldn't value you if you didn't run around doing all these things what would you be for them nothing uh, so it might be a deeper fear inside of here and it's making you angry and I can't forgive um, uh, in some way it's almost like your whole life is rushing um, in, like to your face like this and you're realizing um, the injustice of it all but because maybe this is a pattern from uh, when you were really small and um, uh, there was um, uh, older people there that uh, should have seen this already from the beginning or your partner should have understand this already from the beginning but I think there might be other things also that uh, you can't uh, forgive uh, so that's why you're so maybe you can't forgive yourself for putting yourself in this uh, situation like you're worth more than that you're worth uh, like someone doing stuff for you as well okay so we'll see where it goes uh, this is um, your behaviors and attitudes and here you're going and um, this is war you know um, I can't forgive um, smoldering with rage this geyser just phew, and um, it's not, no, we can't say what is going to happen, but, you know, I can see you just um, dropping the pot of food on the kitchen floor and taking the car, um, um, like <laughs> run, uh, going all the way to Alaska and never coming home <laughs> or worse. I don't know, but it seems serious. Okay, you're not in a good mood. We can say it like that. Uh, you might explode uh, over people. Uh, it would be better if you identified this pattern was talking to yourself and telling you that um, you are the only one that can change this. Having a big tantrum is not going to change anything. It's just going to make people think of oh, what's the matter with you. But if you uh, were to talk about the real issue and, uh, you know, you don't have to be super strict or hard because that's what they're already scared of. 
so it's better if you just um, um, come from a milder place. I can't do all this alone. I need your help. And if they don't want to help you, then you can say, okay, fine. Um, then uh, this is uh, what we will accomplish. We will uh, <laughs> book uh, book. Um, um, uh, a table at a restaurant and the whole family will go there and that's the Christmas we will have this year I can call the restaurant no problem and this is them so they are feeling like danger is ahead like some kind of dangerous thing is happening here uh, danger danger hmm it's almost like they feel that you're on to them maybe they have used this situation to their advantage and um, you being blind to what was going on and uh, now they feel like oh you're on to them and they are going to be exposed uh, with whatever it is that they have it's like some benefit that they have been taking advantage of they knew it was probably unfair and um, but they they enjoy the fruits of it okay and and now you're on to them so I want to see what's going on like deeper into your relationship, not just with shores, but um, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Um, this almost, it feels like their energy, but when I read this, it reads like you. Uh, so maybe this is a problem for both of you that uh, you are chained to each other by the structures that you have built up um, both for a sense of wanting to feel loved this one felt love it's they were pampered you felt loved if you were useful so it's just different addictions but i want to know the secret here lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany transformation okay um I think the secret is that you are getting pissed, like really angry, but I will see if there's like a deeper thing here. Wedding rings, okay. No, it doesn't seem to. I wanted to see if they had like a awful, awful secret uh, that, uh, and this is what's making you so upset, but I can't see it. I can see that they, they want to be with you, uh, but so they are scared of your anger here. So your intentions, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So this is you then uh, trying to fix uh, your own addiction to um, uh, wanting people to love you and, and doing too much for them, basically. So but and this person knows that the storm is brewing and they want to take cover. <laughs> so mm, um, let's see if we can get some um no okay so it's um it's some kind of um giving up energy here um i'm not seeing it in you uh, only here this is the same energy but uh, maybe this is how it starts uh, with you just feeling one day that uh, you're not happy with the situation okay so the outcome, uh, it seems like a quarrel. It seems as if you have, you have two valuable sides uh, to offer into the relationship, but uh, currently you're not seeing it. Uh, you just see the conflict. You so, just see the problem. Um, you can't see that this, in this person's behavior, there lies a seed for your healing. If you could also be pampered a little bit more, that would help you with your addiction of being needed. This person, they can't see that your behavior is telling them that there's much more freedom from that for them to explore. Like they could be much more self-sufficient. They probably have much more talents uh, than that they know because they are mirroring themselves in you, multiple talents. You are mirroring yourself in them, a person that can um, accept help that can accept to be pampered, that can accept to be taken care of and still feel good about themselves. Um, so this is what you could, like the good things that you can learn from each other, but probably you're going to waste a lot of time arguing about how fault it is to be like them or how fault it is like to be like you. Uh, but if you could focus on internally instead 
on, on what needs to be worked on, that you need to learn to relax and they need to learn to, you know, have more, um, more self-esteem when it comes to doing things and accepting making mistakes because it's a learning curve. You can't be an expert first time you're doing something or the 10 times or maybe not even the 100 times. Uh, Wizard of Awareness. So it's about becoming aware of these other apples and, and not blaming the other person, but looking at for the pattern inside yourself. How are you enabling uh, this behavior in another person? What are your addiction? <clears throat> your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant, remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, encumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experience evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change, no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. So it's not a lack of love. It's a lack of communication and understanding first and foremost of yourself you haven't understood yourself and why you're doing certain things and you're kind of um there's a blame game going on but if you stop blaming the other person the other person stops blaming you and you look inside okay so what's my real issue and 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 deal with that and in a little bit detached way because it's not life and death. You have carried this pattern your whole life. You're probably going to be able to do it for a few miles more. But start to, if you if it pay, comes to your attention, do something about it. Okay. So uh, I would urge you to watch the true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this situation. Or love prediction to learn more. At my first channel page, you'll find a playlist for your astrological, astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you will see a link to that playlist, so go and check it out. And thank you so much for watching and take really good care until next time. Happy holiday season and a happy new year. Bye for now.